Hey, how's it going everyone? K9 Stay here and welcome back to Metal Dead. We played this for Halloween Trinity and sadly we could not finish it, so I'm happy to say that we are going to indeed complete it. Because it was a fun little game. And it's just a, another list uh, at a game for the list to hopefully complete. I've got a whole load of games that I want to do. It's just a matter of when I'm going to do it. So we should still have our save. There it is, there's our save game's awesome. Okay, so I started to click back. We found these two freaking out. Uh, see, oh, I've completely forgotten their names. I cannot remember. Okay, so there's the the item. Uh, there's our buddy, Ronnie, who sadly become a zombie, but he is now able to communicate us because of the creepy scientist making that invention on his head. And... Yeah, I think we're going to talk to some boss. I'm looking at you, bitch. Malcolm. Officer Stuart, right. So, I take it. That's the security office. Hello. Oh, it's quite bloody here. If I'm not mistaken, he's the owner of this fine establishment. So there's other people. Still open for business? Then I am. And it's nice to have a new customer. The name's Randy. Hey, Randy. Good to meet you, Malcolm. Nasty bit of weather we're having lately. Uh, yeah. Nasty weather. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but we're a bit light on stock at the moment. I've been waiting on delivery for about a month now. Don't know what he, the hold-up is. They're probably dead, mate. Probably has something to do with an undead apocalypse. Undead apocalypse? What? Where have you been smoking, boy? No, really. The streets are filled with the walking dead. <laughs> he said it. There's some kind of sick joke. Don't you think a Randy would have noticed something like that? How about all the mayhem around here? Randy don't see nothing they want to. All those ravenous animated corpses at the shutter over there? Look, boy. If Randy says he don't want to notice something, he don't notice it. And he preferred didn't bring it to his attention. I understand. About your stock. See anything you like? The lighter. Yep. That'll be $150. What? $150? Are you serious? Well, business has been slow lately. What are you going to spend your money on? <laughs> Fortunately, that man's got to make a living. Obviously, we've got to crack into that ATM. A little bit. I can't afford that. I don't even have any money. Listen, maybe I'm going to cut a deal with you. I am mighty hungry lately. Any food you like to trade? Beans! You know, backed up lately. Oh, nice one. Beans! Beans, beans. The DVDs. What do we need the DVDs for? Anime. <laughs> yeah, that's just stuff. Apparently that particular one was causing seizures and so whoever watched it. Pokemon! I think I've heard of it. It's called... What? You got it. I picked up a box of copies from a supplier on the cheap. And now one for the low price of three forty nine. Really? The magazines. Yeah. These magazines are weird. I'm going to from the same supplier I got those Japanese kind of mangas. I'm kind of enjoying them though. They're passing the time well. So they ain't for sale. No problem. How's business? Been real slow like. Why do you think that is? Well, it ain't because it's some undead apocalypse or something, or whatever crazy stuff you were saying. 
I think it's because of that damn... What? Ever since your kids have been reading the news on your calculators and... Watch phones or whatever you got nowadays. The new stand business has stagnated. You think you're out of a job? Your friend just keeps sliding like it has been. I say, yep, I'm out of a job. Sorry to hear that. Win some, you lose some. What you reading? I don't know, but I'm sure I am liking it. Some weird Japanese comic. I think they're called Hensa. <laughs> Oh, then I've got lots of pretty girls, and lots of tentacles. Let me guess, you're reading it for the story. You got that right. Stuff's got all raining on the edge of your seat. Believe it or not. Right. Alright. Beans. That's, uh, nails, I believe. Hand them over to him. What would you give me for these baked beans? Oh damn, baked beans! Just what I've been hankering for. Awesome! I'll give you that lighter on the cow there for him. It's a deal. Not so fast. We're only a fan of cold beans. Cook them first and then we got a deal. Oh, I knew it was too easy. Alright, I'll be back soon. It's me, Malcolm. If I had a bank card, I could withdraw some money from my account. Fortunately, I left my wallet at home. Good one. <laughs> All right. Gonna go to the toilet. Oh man, I've been dying to go since we got here. <laughs> ah. mm. Mm. Hello. What's your problem? Oh, it was him. Could have given me a fair warning. If you gotta go, you gotta go. And now you hold me with your filthy toilet hands. Since when did you start caring about hygiene? Not cool, man. Not cool. Ronnie, there's nothing left on you but a severed, reanimated, rotten cranium. I'm sorry to break it to you, but you'll have to get used to an all new set of bathroom protocols. You're right. It's just a tight squeeze down there, you know? It's not exactly comfortable for me either. Speaking of tight squeezes, how about the security guard out there, Alice? I'd love to show on her. Oh, you dirty pervy. Don't you even think about it. But I'm hungry, Mal. So hungry. Just one little bite. No. His mouth is full. Talking to him would be rude on both our parts. <laughs> Beans. Ah. Uh. Shit. And blew his jaw. <laughs> you see that grin? So clearly that's going to be a bomb. Yeah, and you pissed on him. Good one. Uh, let's try this one. Alright, you're being a gentleman. Need to find out how to heat up these beans. Oh, here we go.
I'll give you a clue. Pile of the Undead. I'm sure that someone's already making it. Up we go! Dang. This is seriously brutal. Who is a camera? Stop right there, punk! Hey now! I'm not a punk, I'm a metalhead. Right on, brother. Punks, emos, hister, geetsters, trolls, leprechauns, metalheads. You're all the damn same to me. That's racist. Now stick your hands in the air and spread them. I'm not spreading my legs. Don't be afraid, nothing's gonna fall out. Now what's the password? Ah, oh, salami sandwich. You got one for me? No, I don't actually. Good. I don't take bribes, son. There's no corruption in my precinct. They didn't tell me anything about a password. All I'm hearing is excuses, son. And you know what they say? Excuses are the nails that build a house of failure. <laughs> uh, I think it was this, wasn't it? Oh, they didn't tell us a password. I'm just trying to remember. Wrong! Weak. Fuck you, you're hiding behind a locked door. Now scram, punk. I told you I'm not a punk. Ah, oh, it's moving. Yo, give me the password. I need a password. A password? Can you believe this cop guy? What does he th think he is? Special Ops? Jeez. Just tell him Ken sent you. Ken sent me? Shouldn't I be wearing a leisure suit? <laughs> huh? Never mind. Okay, so Ken sent us. Stop right there, it's me again. Oh, look who it is. It's a walking stack of failure! Yeah, that's me, alright. Well, son, have you got the password? Ken sent me, that's the password, punk. Oh, why didn't you say so? Oh my god! Hee <laughs> hee! I like when he smiles, it's like hee. <laughs> you dirty! Jesus. Sneaking on off is probably a bad idea. You got that right, son! If you touch me, I'll fold you in half and jam your elbow up your butt hole. I'd just like to see you try. What's your name, son? Malcolm! I can't hear you, soldier! Malcolm Campbell! Are you stupid? Or are you just making a special effort today? I'm your superior officer, son. I suggest you dress me as such. This isn't boot camp. Might I remind you that one of us has a gun? Sir! That's better. I am Officer Stewart, and I'm in charge of this mission. Do you have a problem with that? No, sir! That's what I want to hear. What's the mission, sir? We're in phase two of the mission, son. It's about time you were brought up to speed. What was phase one, sir? Phase one was Operation Stiff Crusher. Interesting name. What did that entail? You mentioned that Ken sent you here? That boy is a 22 color intellect in a 357 Magnum world. But he follows orders like a trained puppy that's been promised leftovers from yesterday's pastry. I'll expect you to do the same. Uh, I'll try. 
you want to get out of here alive, you absolutely will. As for phase one, I instructed Cannon Alice in an undead cleanup. Using the military strategies I learned in the Gulf, I led our small team to victory. Had the front doors barricaded and secured the lobby area just in time. To have breakfast burritos for a job well done. You must be proud. If it weren't for my presence here, you would have been skinned alive and raped by the undead. I don't know, I've been doing alright on my own. Well, thanks, I guess. What was phase two? Phase two consists of Operation Escape. Creative name. That's where you come in. Great. Why aren't you out there helping? Isn't it cowardly hiding in here? While the others stand guard out there? I'll oh, not tolerate this absurdion, son! Every opera operation needs an expert strategist. Sure. I can kill a man with my bare hands. I'll reach down your throat and open and un... <laughs> append your colon. Next time you question my authority, son, I'll flatten the floor with your skull. Never mind. Never mind. The actual truth is what's wrong with your entire generation. You punks make me sick! How'd you end up here? I'm glad you asked that question, son. I was in the middle of a one-man drug bust a few blocks from here when, out of nowhere, one of the skeevy junkies I was arresting died right on the spot. After making sure his abdominal brain associates were securely handcuffed, I inspected his body. I longed the track marks the son of a bitch had a bite. Within moments, it was one of those dead things. Trying to get a mouthful of my family jewels. Ew. That's awkward. I grabbed his head and twisted it clean off. When I went outside, I realized it was in deep hostile territory. It was like being back in the stand. You know what that's like, son? No. Of course you don't. You were too busy suckling at your mama's teeth. Oh my god. The undead were everywhere. People running this way and that. Being really trained in close quarters combat. I tore through those rotting bastards with my bare hands. I dug deeper and deeper into the horde. Just when it was the thickest, and I was covered in all manner of blood, gore, bile, feces, whatever other obscure body fluid you name them. I arrived here at the Medigeny Tech building. I think you know the rest of the story, son. Fascinating. Can I have a gun? Do you have a firearms license, son? I don't. And the Firearm Control Regulation Act of 1975? I can't. In good conscience. Supply you with a weapon. You know how bad I'd feel if you were to injure yourself as a direct result of my ne negligence? Terrible. Wrong! I wouldn't feel bad at all. In fact, I'd put a smile on my face all the way from here to Baghdad. You're still getting a gun, though. It was worth a try. Just tell me what I need to do. You see that fellow on that makeshift bed over there? I was going to ask you about him. Well, I'll save you the trouble. He's our golden ticket out of here. The man's a trained helicopter pilot. In a situation like this, he's worth his weight in bacon. There's a helicopter on the roof. And what you need to do is make your way up there. Take the access card from the car cleaner over there. I'll take you to the nurse station on level 6. There's no card in the machine. Oh! When you get to the nurse station, you'll gather as many supplies as possible. There may be remaining medical personnel up there. And this man needs medical attention immediately. Why is it me who has to do this? I haven't slept properly for weeks. I was in a car crash. My friend died. I was sent on a bizarre errand by some crazy doctor. I've been shot at. And now this? I don't see things from your point of view. But I can't get my head far enough at my ass! <laughs> Are you finished crying yet? Yes. I don't hear you. Yes, sir! Now get it to it, soldier. You're dismissed! Town hook! Alright, we'll take the key. Card. Yoink. Fresh clean access card. He's out cold. I should let him rest. He's not out cold. He's oh, he's breathing. I was going to say he's moving.
Stop watching me, you perv. Dong. All right, nurse station. Hing, hing. Where is it, buddy? Ah, uh, I am the head bearing of your doom. Huh? I'll consume your flesh, your mind, and your souls. Come to me, my darlings. Bow before me. The time here in Rain is at an end. What the hell was that? I don't know. You tell me. It was scary, whatever it was. If I had pies, I would have crapped them. Pants, I mean. <laughs> From over there, I felt one with the rest of the walking dead. Dr. Frischum <laughs> said he'd buy past the undead condition. I guess it didn't remove all of it. I'm suddenly feeling it was pulled toward the top floor of this building. Weird. Well, we're headed up there anyway. Did you hear what Officer Stewart said? There's a helicopter on the roof and we're getting the hell out of here. We need to find out what's happening here, Mal. Don't worry, Ronnie. We will. Just try not to freak out on me like that again. It wasn't my fault. Do your best. Alright, key card. Uh, it was number six, wasn't it? Oh no. <laughs> that poor fellow. Oh, it's a nurse. There's someone out there. Help me, please. I'm so lonely. Look at his ass! <laughs> oh, dear boy! Be quiet. There's a bunch of those things in here. And up until now, I've been lucky to avoid them. Because they're either very initiative or easily... Inattentive or easily distracted. Or just plain dumb. I take offense to that. Sorry, I didn't mean any. What do you want anyway? Did you hear that sound before? Yeah, I heard it. I think a girl was calling out from behind that door. I think so too. What if she tastes any good? Shut up! If you need any help getting past these things, just let me know, alright, man? Thanks for the offer. Now keep it down. Alright, uh, I might s save. Kane 3. What else if I go forward? Follow them up till now. I really shouldn't go near them. Let's try the door. This door's a barricade on the other side. I can't get through. Why not? Can build a bomb. What should I do about the undo of the nurses' station? This is just a suggestion, but I'd handle the situation with high explosives. Where the hell am I supposed to find explosives in a medical research facility? We've got the bleach. Improvise. Remember when we used to go for drives in the country? Blast metal on the car radio, look for roadkill on the side of the road, and then blow it up with bombs made of household ingredients. I do remember that. In hindsight, it was stupid, dangerous, and immature. But awesome! Don't forget awesome! Anyway, the four ingredients to good bomb are... Accelerant, shrapnel, a fuse, and bleach ignition. Ah. Alright, I'll see what I can scrape up. This is going to be so metal. Give it a rest, would you? All right, so I think there was another Oh, okay. I think there was another room when I put the key card in.
Number three, I think. Yep. Oh, hello. What's your name? Hi. Uh, are you okay? Hey. Whoa. Where'd you come from? The elevator. I should pay more attention. You could have been one of those dead things sneaking up on me. True. I'm so bored that I went into some kind of trance. I've been sitting here without anything to shoot for... For... For way too long. At least you didn't shoot at me. I've had enough of that already today. Shoot at you? Huh. I don't have enough ammo to waste on you. Can I get some food around here? Sure you can. Antoine is in the kitchen. But the dude said he won't cook anything for me until... The filthy buggery and slop of a cafeteria is cleaned up. I don't want to clean up anyone else's mess. Unless there's no other choice. So don't mind if I take the map, uh, the mop. You should probably talk to Anton first. Suggestion noted. I'm Malcolm and you are... My friends call me DXM, but they're all dead. So you can call me Darius. Alright Darius, or Darius, I can't tell if that's a V or a U. I'm sorry. Why would your friends call you DXM? It's a long story, man. Sorry, I have no other time. Nor the inclination... Inclination... Oh, it's just hard to read these words because of the font. No need to be a dick about it. Hey, if you stay long enough, maybe I'll, you'll find out. So, mm. Where'd you get that gun? Can I have one? No dice, man. This place is part of my private collection. Without her, I wouldn't be here. Living, breathing, and partaking in this unfortunate conversation with you. And why is that? Because she kept me alive, man. I was out there, hunting the streets. Killing as many of those things as I could find. Boom! Boom! <laughs> right when I was getting low on ammo, I saw that Chief Antone digging around in a dumpster. In the alley behind the Mini Jenny Tech building. Don't tell him. He was looking for something to cook. I don't know, man. The dude could be cooking homeless people for all I care. But he's an access card that got me in here. And that's all that matters. I could use that access card. Ha! <laughs> Good luck getting it. Planning on getting out of here. There's a helicopter on the roof. And the pilot's in the security room downstairs. He's injured and if you want to get out of this building, maybe you could help. No. Why not? Because I work alone, man. Why would I want to leave here? There's a whole platoon of those dead things. Hanging around this building. There's more here than anywhere else in the city. These are prime hunting grounds. As soon as I get myself some rations and find some ammo, I'll be back out there scoring headshots. Boom! Boom! <laughs> if you reconsider, I won't. Okay. I'll be going now, you crazy loon. I found out there, man. Tell you to come with those bastards for me. What a weird individual. Did you check? So we gotta get that lighter, so we gotta heat up the food so we can ignite the bomb. You're cooking dead things. You dirty bastard. Hi there. What are you doing back here? Can't you see this place of work? I was uh, looking for something to eat. You're not getting anything for free. I don't cook for free, loaders. I wouldn't expect you to. Good, because I won't. Is there anything you need me to do around here? Well, the cafeteria is a mess. Clean it up a bit. And I might consider making something good for you. Clean the cafeteria. Gotcha. That was easy. 
Ew. Call that fine cooking. Mine! Get over it! Okay, mop. Mop up the mess. Stop whinging and do it! <laughs> there. Ew. It's more over there. You're disgusting. Okay, I think that's good enough. Achievement locked. Achievement unlocked. Clean freak. <laughs> awesome. Cook me the damn beans. I clean the cafeteria. Still filthy out there. Their smell isn't all that efficient. Eh, he done good enough job, I suppose. I'm Anton, and you are? Malcolm, Malcolm Campbell. Nice to meet you, Malcolm. I'd like to know the names of customers before they risk eating this crap. But hey, if you're hungry, you gotta take what you can get at a time like this. Anton, are you French or something? Do I look or sound French to you? I'm as French as French for us. I see. It ain't my real name. Just looks good on a chef's job application. Where have you been finding ingredients? Here or there. If it moves, I'll kill it and throw it in the stew. Sounds tasty. What can I say? With the undead apocalypse and all, the luxury of choice and cuisine has gone out the window. Wait a little while and that rat scrotum is on you. Oh, <coughs> oh yuck. Some of this food looks a little ripe. It'll give you an immune system workout, that's for sure. I still have some canned stock saved up for a special occasion. But the real good stuff. The fresh stuff. That's up in hydroponics on level 8. Haven't been up there for a week or so. Last time I ventured up there, a group of those dead folks were hanging around. That's where I saw I was having some kind of party. A party? If you make it up there, you'll see what I mean. It's probably a crack house. <laughs> Can you cook something for me? Whoa, risky move. I admire a man with intestinal fortitude. Let's see what we have here. No, make me the beans. You disgust me. You call yourself a chef? Hey, this is an imitation crab. You never know what they put in that crap. Yeah, because there's so much... Oh, mind you, it probably is better. Uh, garbage is better. <laughs> Cook me the damn beans, fool! Could you heat these beans up for me? Sorry, pal. I'm busy here. Are you fucking serious? I'm completely sure. Some cheeky buzz been stealing my kitchen supplies and I don't have a spare pan. Sorry. Really? You're gonna be that stubborn? Get away from there! Why? Because I keep my, uh, secret donut recipe in there. What's so secret about it? That is a body! You're a cannibal! You bastard. I know your dirty secret. Is that where you get your sick kicks? Alright, to the 8th floor. Oh, be a hero and open it by the door. Dong! Level 8? There is no level 8. 
Alright, I'm stumped. See, I need the lighter. Oh, we were just there. Oh, let's talk to him. Darius, hey man, how goes the hunt? Uh, wow, I cannot stop yawning. Uh, all right, back to the nurses station. Oh no, we're still stumped. We can't do anything. Look at that ass! And that crack! Lobby! So it's a security man. Oh, open the door! You better have good news to report, son. There's a horde of undead in the nurse's station. Well, why are you back here? Improvise, son. Or would you prefer to be a miserable failure for the rest of your life? Oh, God. Everyone's so rude. I hope you die first. Uh, let's talk to Robbie. No, there isn't. Oh, camera. Let's talk to these two. They could probably help us. Ah! Help us out. Oh, what's the story with you two? I think we've already gone through this. I'm just going to breeze through. I'm sure I did this and then I quit and didn't save it. Alright. Talk to Robbie. Ah. Ah. So find a heat source. We can't get the lighter without the beans. And we need to heat the beans up. Oh, cafeteria. Good if we go to level eight. Ah. 
Ay. <laughs> I agree. I said I was trying to scrape up. Beans! Cook them, damn you. What if I took the pan? I've got a feeling I've got to steal the pan. When he's distracted. Oh, put the beans in the pan! <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, we're getting there. Yo, bitch. Now, how are we going to heat it? Oh, you've got to be joking. Some ass stole my pen. <laughs> I bet it was those damn stoners. If I catch whoever's been stealing my stuff, I'll turn them to sloppy joes. What's the deal with the guy outside? He's crazy. He thinks he's some kind of undead hunter. He does seem ever so slightly mentally un imbalanced. Ever since he got here, he's been cradling that gun of his with his goddamn Johnson. And to be honest, it's disturbing the hell out of me. At least he's not sitting there cradling his actual Johnson. True. Small mercies, right? I'll be going now. Wait a second. What? This might sound strange. I'm already getting used to strange requests. Just tell me what you need. If you find any blood around this place, bring it back to me. What? If you haven't noticed, there's blood everywhere. Not just any old blood. I need fresh, uncontaminated blood. Nurse station. No, 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 don't worry. I don't want your blood if that's what you're thinking. Your blood. My blood. We'll be carrying some, uh, some of the contagion. I need untouched, guaranteed, uncontaminated blood. And why would you be needing that? We're in the Medigeni Tech building. Even I'm just a chef. The way I see it, we have a duty to figure out a way... To stop the undead apocalypse. I'm trying to cook a conicotion that, in my calculation, could possibly state the undead's hunger for living human flesh. I just need fresh, uncontaminated human blood. To make it worth your while, I'll give you my access card. It'll take you to some of the upper floors. Excellent! But I'll only part with you if you bring me some blood. Oh, fuck. Alright, I'll try. But you better be on the level. No funny business. Hey, come on, I'm French. Or at least I've got a French name. Who doesn't trust the French? Now I should really tend to my stew. Alright, now we can cook the beans! Finally. Now cook the beans! Beans, beans are beautiful fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So eat your beans with every meal. Ah. Oh. Fuck. Um, what about creepy scientist's lab? There's probably something down here. Oh.
Going out into the field to collect more of the wonderful specimens. I love that he writes how he talks. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that's good. Oh, burner. Ha <laughs> ha Excellent. I was going to say, I like how, because we've been here in a while, the, you know, you can't go outside anymore. Awesome. I forgot about the boiler, but I knew there was something heat saucy. Now, give me the damn lighter. Dong. Dong.